A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant turn of events that could reshape the diplomatic landscape of the Middle East, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, often referred to as MBS, has firmly declared that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia will not establish diplomatic relations with Israel until an independent Palestinian state is established with East Jerusalem as its capital. This statement, made during an address to the Shura Council, marks a notable hardening of Saudi Arabia's position on a matter that has long been a focal point of Middle Eastern diplomacy. In his address, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman reiterated the kingdom's unwavering commitment to the Palestinian cause, stating, the kingdom will not cease its tireless efforts to establish an independent Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital, and we affirm that the kingdom will not establish diplomatic relations with Israel without one. This declaration comes in the wake of escalating tensions in the region, particularly following the outbreak of war last October between Israel and Hamas, the militant group that governs Gaza. Prior to the conflict, Saudi Arabia had been on the verge of normalizing ties with Israel, a move that was seen as a potential catalyst for broader regional peace. However, the eruption of violence has led to a swift reordering of Riyadh's diplomatic priorities, putting U.S.-backed plans for normalization on hold. Sources familiar with the kingdom's thinking indicate that the ongoing conflict has caused significant delays in discussions regarding Saudi-Israeli relations, which were previously viewed as a key step towards securing a U.S. defense pact that Riyadh considers vital. During his address, the Crown Prince did not shy away from condemning the actions of Israel, referring to them as crimes of the Israeli occupation against the Palestinian people. He emphasized the kingdom's strong rejection and condemnation of these actions, which he stated violate international and humanitarian laws. By highlighting this stance, MBS aims to reinforce Saudi Arabia's position as a leading voice in the Arab world on the Palestinian issue, amidst growing concerns about regional stability and humanitarian crises. The Crown Prince's comments reflect a broader sentiment among Arab nations, many of which have been grappling with the implications of normalizing ties with Israel in the absence of a resolution to the Palestinian question. In his address, he expressed gratitude to countries that have recognized the Palestinian state and urged others to follow suit, reinforcing the notion that recognition of Palestinian statehood is a critical component of any future diplomatic engagement with Israel. As the kingdom navigates its diplomatic landscape, MBS also took the opportunity to highlight the significant strides Saudi Arabia has made in recent years, particularly in diversifying its economy away from oil dependency. He noted that non-oil activities accounted for 50% of the country's real GDP last year, underscoring the transformative changes taking place within the kingdom. The Crown Prince's remarks come at a time when the global community is increasingly focused on the humanitarian situation in Palestine, with calls for international intervention and support growing louder. The Saudi leadership's commitment to the Palestinian cause is likely to resonate with many in the Arab world, particularly as the conflict continues to escalate and the humanitarian toll mounts. This declaration from Saudi Arabia is not just a diplomatic statement. It is a reflection of the kingdom's long-standing position on the Palestinian issue and its role as a leader within the Arab community. As the situation in the Middle East remains fluid, the implications of MBS's comments could have far-reaching consequences for regional diplomacy and the pursuit of peace. The Crown Prince concluded his address by emphasizing the importance of mutual respect among nations and the need for peaceful resolutions to disputes. He stated, we believe that humanity's well-being and the preservation of our shared civilizational values depend on working together for a brighter future. This requires mutual respect for countries' independence and values, upholding the principles of good neighborliness and non-interference, and peacefully resolving disputes. As the world watches closely, the question remains. What will be the next steps for Saudi Arabia in its pursuit of a diplomatic solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Will the kingdom's firm stance lead to renewed efforts to advocate for Palestinian rights, or will it further complicate the already intricate web of Middle Eastern diplomacy? Only time will tell how this declaration will play out in the broader context of Middle Eastern relations, but one thing is clear. The Palestinian issue remains a top priority for Saudi Arabia, and the Crown Prince's comments signal a renewed commitment to this cause. The international community must now grapple with the implications of this stance and consider how it will shape future diplomatic efforts in the region. As the situation unfolds, 
All eyes will be on Saudi Arabia and its role as a potential mediator in the quest for peace and stability in the Middle East. The Crown Prince's bold declaration may serve as a rallying cry for those advocating for Palestinian rights, while also posing challenges for those seeking to foster closer ties between Israel and Arab nations. The road ahead is fraught with complexities, but the stakes have never been higher for both the Palestinian people and the broader region. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.